Hey humans, today I'm painting some bullet weights or slip sinkers, whatever you might call them. Um, first I'll say uh, start by preheating your oven to 350. You're going to need that obviously. Uh, items I'll use today are uh, 3 8 ounce uh, bullet weights. These are water gremlin, which are lead in case your state has outlawed that. Um, some metal hangers that I made out of a wire hanger. Um, I stripped some of the paint off, as you can see. Uh, you'll need a heat source. Um, today I'm going to use actually the candle, but you can use uh, a torch, which I'm not going to use. Uh, and then obviously you need some uh, paint. Uh, I'm using Protec today, some powder paint. It works really well, and it's pretty easy to use. One other thing that I've made myself is a little stand or hanger for these. Uh, I made it out of cardboard and then obviously you can see another hanger. Um, it makes it easier to uh, do multiples and then you can transport them to the oven after we put the powder on there. Um, so I'm just going to put these together, get them ready for each one. Hang them like that. As you can see, I'm ready. Um, one other thing, I'm going to use some needle nose to pick them up uh, since it will be hot after I heat it up. Um, and what I'm typically going to do for each one is I'm going to actually heat it up for about 12 to 13 seconds. That seems to be the sweet spot with candles anyway. Uh, the torch, I think, is about 10 to 11. Um, that seems to be working pretty good so far. With the ProTech, you actually want to shake it up really good so that it's fluffy, if you will, inside uh, and it's not all clumped up. So I'm just going to heat this again to about 12 to 13 seconds. And I'm going to go straight in all the way and I'm just going to tap it a bit. and then I'm going to move on to the rest. I do want to make an edit um, or a correction, if you will. Uh, I said 13, 12 to 13, but it's actually about 15 or 16. And what we're looking for is for the powder to actually sort of melt or liquefy on the bullet. See, it's liquefied on there. So now I'm just going to transfer these to the oven.
and I'll let these go for 15 minutes. A few moments later. Okay, now I'm going to pull them out. Hang them back again. Okay, so I pulled them out of the oven and I've let them cool. Uh, so I'm gonna take one now, and you might find that, depending on how you set it up, it may be difficult to get it off initially. Uh, some people actually twist it before they put it in the oven. Um, I sometimes wait and then just use my pliers. And as you can see, this is uh, sort of a translucent looking yellow or chartreuse. Um, this is called, um, candy yellow so it's going to be uh, sort of clear looking in a way if you're looking for the thick yellow chartreuse color uh, you actually need to get uh, yellow chartreuse uh, from Protec and if you're happy with this color um, you're fine the way it is uh, for me I'm actually going to do a little thing different here uh, I'm going to actually do a, a full-on uh, chartreuse stripe on one side um, it's kind of a cool look and it's worked well for me in the past uh, for lures and uh, even just worm fishing uh, I'm gonna actually do this with a, a, a fluorescent chartreuse uh, as you can see this is a company called golden acrylics uh, so I'm gonna use that and uh, take this a little bit further uh, if you don't need to do that, then obviously you're done and you can use it how you want. For me, I'm just going to put a, a blob of it on here on one side. And I'm actually using this for uh, making an inline um, spinner for white bass and hybrid. So it doesn't really matter if it has little stickers hanging off of it, I guess. So there you go, all done. Thanks for watching, appreciate you.